Hello everyone and welcome to DJAMS. I am Sparksy and welcome to my new Warframe review series. Where I'll basically take a look at all the Warframes that you can get in Warframe. I'm going to tell you how you get hold of them. I'm going to tell you are they any good. I'm basically going to take a no platinum approach. I'm going to pretend you have no money to spend. So I'm basically going to tell you is it worth getting hold of and what these Warframes can actually do. I'm going to be focusing mainly on players who are new to the game and those who don't particularly care about the stats. They just want to know is it good? should I invest my time in getting it? Because a lot of videos focus a lot on the stats and it's just, it can be confusing and sometimes boring to watch. So I'm just going to tell you the abilities, I'm then going to tell you how you get hold of the Warframe, I'm then going to tell you my personal opinion on the different Warframes. So let's kick things off with Zephyr. Now Zephyr is described as being light yet deceivingly lethal. Specialising in air attacks and mobility, Zephyr dominates from above. And the main feature of Zephyr is that she can glide, like so. It takes a long time for her to get back on the ground. The sort of wing flaps on her arms help her to land, which is very good. I'm going to show you a big, like this drop here, effortlessly gliding. It's brilliant. So now I'm going to show you the abilities of Zephyr. Now the first ability of Zephyr is called Tailwind. But basically Zephyr jumps in the air and glides along like that, hitting all enemies in her wake. Now, as you can see, I didn't do a lot of damage there. This ability is not the best, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of it. I, I'm just not that big a fan of, fan of it. Um, so yeah, that was Tailwind. The second ability of Zephyr is called Dive Bomb. Basically, Zephyr does that. A good old Dive Bomb. It's brilliant, it's good for crowd control, and it's probably the ability I use most on Zephyr. It's a pretty good ability, like I said, crowd control. Especially when you're up against the Infested, it's a very good technique. Now Zephyr's third ability is called Turbulence, where basically... Oop, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> she creates a shield of wind, which deflects oncoming bullets and can deflect them back at attackers and whatnot. Hence why you can sort of walk up to Grenier, let them shoot you. You don't take a lot of damage, and you can't even deflect it back sometimes. This ability doesn't work all the time. It's probably a very good tactic to use if there's a lot of enemies around you, and you basically have enough energy to do it, and you just need to sort of survive. It's a sort of... Yeah, it's a very defensive-minded ability, and it can be quite useful. Now, Zephyr's fourth and final ability is called Tornado, where you basically do this. Self-explanatory, you make tornadoes. At the highest rank, you can make three tornadoes. You can get augment mods that add more. A good feature about the tornadoes is you can add elemental damage, like I've just put electricity in that one. And you can add, you know, fire, corrosive, radiation, ice, blast, you can add the lot in. It's a very good ability, very good for clearing out enemies. Obviously the bad thing is you don't really have control of the tornadoes, they have their own mind, they go where they want, they, start, they spawn where they want. You don't really have control of that. But nevertheless, it's a very, very good ability. Okay guys, so you join me here back in the Lissa, and I'm basically going to tell you how you get hold of Zephyr, what you need to make it, and then should you actually do it. Now... You can only obtain Zephyr components from clan research. So you basically have to be part of a clan to try and get hold of Zephyr. Uh, you can get the blueprint, as you can for all the other Warframes, you get the blueprints on the market. Now to make Zephyr, you're going to need circuits, oxium, polymer bundles, salvage, rubido, plastids, oxium, and a control module. Now the control module can be hard to get hold of if you don't have access to plants that have control modules or if you or you know if you don't have access to the void if you do that's not a problem you can get a lot of control modules from the void um the only other second point could be the oxium you basically get oxium from oxium drones they have a 100 percent chance to drop oxium when you kill them if you don't kill them in time before they blow up you don't get anything so that could be the only sticking point so should you get zephyr i personally i'm a bit disappointed with zephyr except she was mainly focused on battle in the air which is all well and fine, it would have been a very good addition, but all the enemies are based on the ground. Apart from the Ospreys, but even then they don't hover that high off the ground, so the flying aspect, Operation. pretty pointless. Oh look, Ordis is saying hello, isn't he the most annoying thing in the game? He doesn't shut up. But yeah, so, I personally wouldn't bother with Zephyr, I mean, don't go hunting down clans. Just for getting Zephy. Actually, no, you go go hunt down clans. Clans are good to be part of. I'm quite gl lucky in the fact that I got invited to this cl the clan I'm at, because they're very, very good. Um, but if you are starting a clan on your own just to try and get Zephyr, don't bother. It's just not worth the hassle. It's not worth the time and energy. 
Um, so yeah, Zephyr had potential, it doesn't. The one good thing I will say about Zephyr is the Tornado ability is good, the Dive Bomb ability is good, uh, Turbulence is okay, the Tailwind is not the best ability. And one good thing that Zephyr does have is she has the highest health of all the Warframes, which is good, but the armor doesn't really make up for it. The armor's only 15, that's pretty low, so she has the health basically to try and counteract the low armor. But, I mean, if you're basically in the game to level up, increase your mastery, rank and all that, get a Zephyr by all means if you can, but don't go out of your way to get her. Okay guys, I've been Sparksy, this has been the Warframe review of Zephyr, uh, thanks for listening and please like and subscribe.